look at the ledge. This is going to be a strange rant. I like to see if Monsieur Bissier is around, the Sergeant at Arms. Uh, I gotta find a cameraman. Pay him. Money. Okay, set it up here. Okay, okay, Charles LeBlanc here. I'm at the ledge. Let's see if it works. Does it work? Yeah. Okay, I'm at the legislator. Now, get ready because I don't think you're gonna get ready for this one. Uh, a guy made the front page today. Request will require warrant police. So right there. It's the story of a guy. Name is Tracy Gould. I don't know who, who he is. I guess he, he runs some kind of ice factory. In Boyce Down or somewhere there. Boyce Down. So. Uh, this guy was here last fall, and I guess, was it in the spring? I think it was in the spring. I came in, he was outside, he was talking to a cop, uh, Duncan. Yeah, he was talking to Duncan, right, right there. So I walked by, and, and I didn't know what was going on. Didn't have a clue. And uh, so anyway, I was told there was something that happened in there, but I didn't know what was going on. He goes, Where's the media? I like to talk to media. I was standing right there, so, you know. I had this jacket on. Totally ignore me, so. I guess he didn't want to have nothing to do with me. He wants true media, you know, urban employees. But anyway, we know my battle with Monsieur Bissier. I've been going after him for the last, what, nine years? I went after him, I put cartoons, I mean, his face, he, he banned me from the legislature. I'm not even allowed on the ground, I'm not even allowed on the sidewalk, not even a building across the street or anywhere, but he was, the ban was really huge, and, but I, after whatever, started covering protests, Monsieur Bissia had me arrested by the police, uh, moi, he, he realized he controlled the police, Moi order you to arrest that blogger and the police would grab me because they want to work overtime. Money, money, the power, you know. So anyway, ever since, I don't know what happened, I don't know if Monsieur Bissiard is taking his medication, he surrendered the white flag, he don't bother me anymore. Like if this was six, seven years ago, Security and Monsieur Bissia and the police will be called and they will have me surrounded. Monsieur Bissia has taken his medication and he's leaving moi alone. I'm still not allowed here, but he's leaving moi alone. Okay. Now, I left the guy alone. Really, I haven't. He make he looks the, the face looks like pure fascist. But I'm leaving him alone and I haven't blogged him really. So this is on the front page of the Irving paper. And uh, this guy, what's his name again? Tracy Gould. No, there's something wrong, wrong, wrong. What happened? He got banned because he wanted to ask a question to uh, Brian Galland and Brian during the media scrum. And uh, make a long story short, uh, Galland, I guess, did answer his question and he said, You're a liar. So right out the bat, they grabbed him, and uh, he was escorted out. Now, this is going a little bit overboard. He put a complaint to the police that Monsieur Bissia assaulted him. Okay, hey, Monsieur Bissia wanted charge, wanted me charged with assault. You know, it's a game. But this thing here, the Irving media. In the week since the that initial encounter in the rotunda, that's in the middle of the legislature, uh, 
At the provincial le legislature, Tracy Gould and Bicia have crossed paths at least a couple of times in the community. Wayden said police were informed of an accident. Wayden is a cop, don't know him. Of an incident, not accident, incident at the Fredericton Costco in which Tracy Gould allegedly took a photo of BCA while he was eating. On September 9th, officers with the Fredericton Police Force were called to NB Liquor York Street outlet after the two men appar apparently exchanged words. Okay. Now, you know what? I must support Monsieur Bissia on this one. I saw Monsieur Bissia on many, many, many occasions outside. I saw him at the farmer's market. I saw him other places. Never once have I took my camera and took a picture of him. On the street, on the street, he's fair game. It's a public place. But to go after people in a restaurant while they're eating in a private property, no, nah, no, nah, that's not the way to do it. I'm very sorry. Uh, that's crossing the line. I know Mr. Bicia, he came after me at the farmer's market and he was, he was this close, this close of a nervous breakdown. But I told him, I said, Dan, stop reading my blog. You're heading for a nervous breakdown. Anyway, uh, this Tracy Gould is doing the wrong thing. You do not take pictures of people, go into a restaurant, Costco, and start taking pictures of them, which you know they're your enemies. That's crossing the line. Tracy Gould, I got a message for you. I'd love to interview you. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know you, so I can't say anything. Monsieur Bissiard, I know him very well. Um, start a Facebook, start a blog, have a protest out front with a sign, but uh, to go take uh, pictures of people with their family, no, that's crossing the line. So I must support Monsieur Bissiard on this part. I'm glad there's no clouds because uh, there's no lightning.